Welcome to this ProPlan video. In this video, we will show the five steps to follow in order to prepare your case for an orthognathic surgery planning. The first step is a preparatory step. This step involves creating a composite model. The composite model is made by combining the dental information from the casts with the bony information segmented from the CT images. We will start with the maxillary composite model. In order to merge the maxillary cast and the CT model of the maxilla, we will register both parts. This is done by choosing identical points on both the maxillary cast and the CT model. After the registration, you can double check the outlines of the cast and the CT model on the CT scan. You can fine tune the registration if necessary. Now, we will merge the dental cast with the CT model by aligning this blue box with the teeth. After clicking Next, the composite model is ready. To create the mandible composite model, we will perform exactly the same operations, but now using the mandible CT model and the mandible cast. Now that we have created our maxilla and mandible composite models, the next step is to set the natural head position. We'll use the Frankfurt plane and follow the instruction to place four points. We'll also adjust the mid-facial plane to obtain our final natural head position. The exact natural head position can still be fine-tuned manually, if necessary. Now that the natural head position is set, we can move on and prepare the osteotomies. We have the choice between L4-1, 2 or 3, a BSSO, genioplasty and free hand curve and line osteotomies. First, we will start with the LO4-1 and indicate the four points while following the instructions. We can double check the position of teeth roots in comparison to the four LO4-1. We can always fine tune the cuts if necessary. When we are happy with the cuts, we click Next to perform the LeFour 1 osteotomy. The second step is the BSSO. Just like we did for the LeFour 1 osteotomy, we will follow the instructions to place the osteotomy points to obtain the left and the right sagittal splits. We can double check the position of the nerve in comparison to the BSSO. We can then again fine-tune the cuts if necessary. When we are satisfied with the cuts, we click Next to create the BSSO. At this point, we are now ready to set the final occlusion. We can either set the occlusion virtually or with the help of an occlusion scan. In this case, we have an occlusion scan. So we are going to merge the occlusion scan with the cut maxilla and the mandible. Let's start with the maxilla. We are going to choose identical points on the cut maxilla and the occlusion scan to register the parts. Then, we will perform the same operations to register our cut mandible to the occlusion scan. Finally, the mandible is positioned in the final occlusion with the maxilla in its original position. The last step before starting the planning is the indication of the cephalometric points. Indicating these points is easily done. After selecting the analysis of your choice, the software guides you to indicate each point. Next to the extensive library of available cephalometric analysis, it is also possible to create your own fully customized analysis. Based on the indicated points, the cephalometric measurements are automatically calculated and updated during the planning process. 
We are now ready to begin planning. This step will be covered in a dedicated video that you can find on our website. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact us.